Hello guys, so this is um, a very quick tutorial showing you how you can debug with WebStorm. So I um, struggled quite a bit when I start. So hopefully this will save you, save you some precious time. So this is my uh, front end web application. So normally um, I would run this PM for PNPM. Um, if you are using npm, I think that would be the same. Uh, let's see, pn, npm, okay. Start. This is an Angular app, so it is start. And if you are using using view, I believe that would be npm serve. But uh, it depends on the script you have on your package JSON. Anyways. So this is the URL, and if you click on that, you can open the web app. But for for example, this is the the quizzes uh, the quizzes screen, and this is the the component for that. But if I reload that, you don't see the breakpoint and stop here. And you don't see the code stop at the breakpoint here. So why is that? So the reason is you need to uh, press a command and shift on mark. And I believe that would be control and mark on window. Click and hold that command and shift. And then uh, click on the arrow in the terminal here. So you see that there's a new, new Chrome profile I uh, started so I will log in Alice Alice.com one that is the email and password if you want to try. So now if I click on this view here you see that the breakpoint is enabled the the white check uh, tick here. So click on create quiz here. So you see that the go stops here. And actually you can yeah move along the line um if I just uh skip the big point I can see that my UI uh, can be loaded successfully here. So I was using NPM right so if I use PNPM that would be the same. So let's stop this pnpm start. And also you see the link here. So I believe still command shift and click on this. You will see that a new uh, like an incognito or private browsing Windows a uh, Chrome uh, was created and I click on start login again and let's check if we have the breakpoint here yeah and if I click on create quiz quizzes and then I can well do everything here I step into and then yep that's it and that is how you can uh, start your debugging session with uh, webstorm so uh, i hope the video is helpful and i see you uh, in the next session bye bye